there everybody welcome back to the channel thank you for joining me in today's video we are going to take a look at the Florian FC 200 PMR 446 license free radios in this video we're going to take a look at the radio itself have a look at its features and just have a little bit of an overview of what you get for your money so without further ado let's get into the video So first off, we'll quickly look around the radio and then we'll dive into the menu afterwards. We have at the top, we have the fixed antenna. In the middle, we have a small lamp. Now, before we go anywhere, there is a small fault with that, the way they've designed this. If you press the lamp button, even though the radio is off, it switches the lamp feature on, which is not very good um, unfortunately I've, I've had this in my pocket this morning and uh, when I got home I noticed the lamp was on so it switched itself on in the pocket so just bear that in mind if you were uh, if you're going to be using this in your pocket or in your bag you can uh, quite easily turn that lamp on and possibly drain the battery so moving on to the back we have the obligatory belt clip and we've got the battery cover there it takes three AA batteries and I have some rechargeable batteries in there because you can recharge the batteries inside the handset. Moving on to the right hand side, we've got a really nice little grip on the side. And we've got a little rubberized cover, which is for your accessory port and your charge port. So you can plug in a, an earpiece and you can charge it from there. Moving on to the left hand side, again we've got this nice grip with the PTT switch which is again rubberized and there's a nice click off of it when you use it. Moving on to the front of the radio we have the call tone button, we have the lamp button, we've got the up and down arrows, we've got the menu which doubles as a lock button and we have the scan and monitor button. So it doubles as two things. So a short press of the scan button will scan your radio, scan through the channels. And if you press and hold it, it will open the squelch and you can possibly hear weaker signals. And just down here to the right, we have the microphone and we've got a fairly decent speaker in the front there. On the main screen, we have our battery monitor on the top left. Then the large number in the middle is your channel. Then the two smaller digits are your interference eliminator code. Now this radio comes with 121 subcodes, which basically means it will block transmissions from unknown sources. Then down on the right hand side, we have the receive icon. So if I press the PTT, there we go, little transmit icon comes up. So by pressing the menu button, we can select which channel we want to go on. Now remember this handset has 16 channels to choose from. And to select the channel, we simply press the PTT. Going into the menu again and selecting the two smaller digits, that is the noise elimination code. Basically it's a subcode. And having that set to any one of the 121 available codes, it will eliminate all other unknown transmissions on that channel. So if you've got two of these, like I have in the set, and you set the code to, let's say, code number two, and you have the other set on code two, the handset will only receive signals from each other. Next up in the menu is the call tone. You can really annoy your friends with these. There's quite a few to choose from and they're rather annoying. So um, happy days, annoy your friends. Next up in the menu, we have the Vox operation. So basically you've got different sensitivity settings 
and it basically means that you can operate the radio without actually having to press the PTT switch. And just by speaking into the microphone, whichever sensitivity you set it to, it will operate and you'll be able to transmit without the need for pressing the button. The last feature in the menu is the dual channel monitor, which enables you to scan a current channel and another channel alternately. So another cool feature. But that really is it for the menu system. Something that I want to um, make a note of in the video is that when you get yours, you will probably have this really annoying key tone, which you probably won't want. And this is turned off, not via the menu at all. It's actually turned off by switching off the radio, pressing the down key and switching on the radio. And now keypad tones are gone. Another feature that this radio has that you can't actually turn off in the menu is the Roger beep or the Roger tone. So when you finish your transmission, you get this little beep. To turn that off, you turn off the radio and you press the up key and turn the radio back on. And now when you finish your transmission, no Roger beep at all. And to turn it back on, it's just do the opposite. So you press the up key as you're turning it back on. One feature that's missing in this menu system is the high power mode. Now, the reason that this does not have a high power mode is because this is the UK spec PMR446 radio. Now, if you were to buy this from, let's say, China, and you buy them from eBay, Wish, Banggood, AliExpress, and all those other shopping sites, the chances are you will get one with the high power mode in the menu. Now, here in the UK, we are limited to what we can use on 446 to keep 446 license free. The two main conditions are the antenna must remain a fixed antenna. So any form of modification to the antenna or adding a different connector to accept a, a different connection antenna, you're breaking those licensing conditions. And we also must use a strict power limit of half a watt, 500 milliwatts. That's all we can use. Any more than that, and we are breaking the licensing conditions, which keep the license free. Now, if you buy these radios from China, the chances are you're going to get the set with the high power mode. Now, albeit the high power mode on these radios are one watt, it's still breaking that license in term or condition. So it's just worth bearing in mind. This one, the high powered mode, these radios uh, is disabled in the menu system. Even though using low power and half a watt, the range of these radios are advertised at five kilometers, which is 3.1 miles. Now that depends on your environment. If you're in an open area, it's quite possible. But if you're in an urban environment, your range is going to be greatly decreased. It's just worth bearing in mind that PMR446 really is for same site comms. So it's less than line of sight usually, but it's great fun and your range can be greatly increased if you go up on top of a nice hilltop or some high ground and you can get some good long distance contacts, even on half a watt. And especially if conditions are running very well, you can do pretty good things. Ideally, I would take these radios out and do a, a field test of some sort and actually tested them out in the real world. But unfortunately, due to our current situation with the COVID-19 pandemic, I'm unable to do so with our current lockdown here in the UK. However, 
later on in the year, fingers crossed, with the lockdown lifted, I will take these radios out and I will do some real world testing. If you're in the market for a budget PMR radio and you don't want to really break the bank, then these are well worth considering. So I'm going to end the video there and I hope this video was of some help or some use to you. And if it was, maybe consider giving it a little like down below. Dislike is there as well. I don't mind. I really don't. And also, if you're new to the channel, maybe you could hit that subscribe button too, because I really do appreciate every single subscription. In these testing times that we find ourselves in, I want to uh, genuinely wish you all very best of health, to stay safe and look after one another. And until the next video, everybody, I want to wish you all the best, 7-3. And goodbye for now. Thank you.